Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope all is well. Okay, I'm just gonna get some energy for today. Okay, what you could possibly experience in the energy today. I'm gonna sage, all right? Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me as I channel these messages, my spirit guides as well. I ask that you allow me to get the messages out and what it is that you want me to talk to my collective about. Give me clear, concise, and precise messages. Any entities or people sending evil eyes, send it back to the sender and bind it to them tenfold. I ask that you give me clarity and understanding so that I can give my collective clarity and understanding. Okay? Anything trying to block these messages? Remove it. Okay, let's see. Okay, y'all could be in this mood because I'm here. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it, bro. Okay. So you could be in this energy of like getting to it. Some of y'all are getting to the money. Y'all could be at work when you watch this or come across this. Okay. Somebody, the spark could have went out with somebody, all right, because my lighter. Okay. The spark could have went out with somebody, the flame at one point. <laughs> and every time it gets relit, it go right back out. Okay. That could be how you feel or that could be how something is actually happening. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, somebody could feel like you're one in a million. Because <laughs> I'm saying one in a million. Okay, if y'all ever seen Nutty Professor when he at the wedding or something, or he was at some type of event, the ball, and he was saying, oh, one in a million. <laughs> okay, let's see. Somebody's name could be Buddy. Somebody's last name could be Love. I'm hearing that that buddy love or butter love okay it's a song somebody misses your love all right good guys give me some energy message what is in the energy today for my collective what do you have predicted for today mm -hmm. man holding the coin somebody could be a tourist Somebody is having some type of enlightenment, some uh, awakening, okay? If this is you, you're going, you get into the bag, all right? You're, you're getting a lot of abundance, a lot of recognition. Oh, damn. <laughs> 303? There's a journey you're going through? Y'all, okay, this is crazy. Somebody is getting some type of shakeup or realization, some type of clarity here about who their abundance is, okay? They could be going through an awakening, okay, or being guided spiritually towards their abundance, which they feel like is you. Because on the floor, it is the happy family and the woman holding a coin, okay? Which is Capricorn energy for me. So there's somebody who sees, feels like they're being guided towards you and you're their happiness, okay? They want to heal something with you and they're trying to trust their intuition with this and open their heart with it. But they're dealing with a lot of anxiety here. And I feel like they, they're dealing with this anxiety because they feel like you're going to reject them. But yet in spirit, still, spirit is guiding them, okay? They're being guided by spirit. And it's requiring a lot of patience here. Ciao. Y'all saw that. Okay, yeah, somebody is getting some type of clarity or something is being exposed. They could be manifesting you, okay? Because we have the moon card on the floor and the magician. Give me one second. Behind this moon card, yeah, it's like they feel like you're mysterious, okay, or you're, you're setting up some type of boundary, okay, like they feel like you're blocking them out or something like that, but they're still trying to manifest you. That was wild. <laughs> it's like somebody's having a shake up or shaking their reality, okay. Yeah, somebody can't sleep. They can't eat because they are in love with you or they have some type of deep feelings with you. And it's like they don't want to walk away. It's like this person is stuck on you. Not that they can't sleep, can't eat. They could not have been able to do Yeah. 
it's like this person don't envy you, okay? They don't have lack. I feel like you don't have no hatred against this person either. <gasps> Somebody about to fall over, baby. I'm going to What the fuck is going on? Okay, this Mercury retrograde got somebody discombobulated. I mean, it's got all of us discombobulated, if you ask me. 515 on the timer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get more. What about this man holding a coin, the cornucopia? Yeah, somebody's getting some type of clarity here. Um, it's like they could be... Okay. I, I just heard they could be being lied to by their different options here. Um... Or they could feel like you have different options here and it's a lie. <laughs> Whatever's going on, whatever lies that have been told, okay, they're being exposed at this time. Something's being exposed with the goddess of the moon. They're getting some type of enlightenment. I feel like somebody has been very much so um, getting a lot of intuitive downloads. I'm also feeling like somebody's been very emotional, okay? Step out here. Turn around. Whatever, Tyler. You're determined to do that. Somebody's determined to do something even though you said no. Okay? Because I told my daughter no to something that she wanted to wear. And she's determined to wear it anyway because it's her favorite color. So she put it on anyway. Anyway. Yeah. I feel like somebody's realizing that they're in love with you or you have the key to their heart. Yeah, they want to heal this with you. Woman holding a coin. Something could involve a water sign and a uh, and a earth sign. Sorry. Yeah, 4344. Okay. Somebody feels like that you are the one from them. I'm hearing, you're the one for me. Okay. And it's like they have this attachment to you. They have this attachment to you. This person wants a new beginning with you. Um, somebody feels like if you thought that this was over, that's a lie. It's like they're just trying to get themselves together here. And it's like they're going to fight anybody that tries to come in between y'all or something like that. Okay, what else? This person is steady thinking about you. Yeah, they're thinking, they're trying to think or be logical about their feelings, okay? They're trying to come from a head space versus the heart space. But they, even logically, they feel like you have a lot of abundance, like something can be very successful with you, okay? What about this thinking man? They can't, whatever, this person is thinking logically about this blessing, okay? As you can see, there's a butterfly here, which I feel like is you, Okay? And then you have them thinking, okay, about you, this butterfly, okay? They could be going through some type of transition or a transformation here. This person could be trying to focus on their stability, their abundance here. But they're getting a lot of clarity about their feelings, I feel like, for you. And they're trying to think logically. I feel like somebody's trying to think logically. Something could involve an air sign as well. Yeah, this person is trying to heal. They, they wanting to heal. Or they're getting clarity here that they need to heal. Or they're hiding that they're trying to heal. So something's requiring a lot of patience here. Yeah, but I feel like you feel like you've been waiting long enough and you're walking away. Yeah, and this is kind of like bringing in some abundance for you and some type of balance here. Mm. What does this energy mean for my collective spirit? What does this energy mean for my collective? I'm here. I feel it all in my body. You're the one for me. Yeah, it's like they, they feel it all over them. Like, mm, somebody that's initials could be M and W. Or they feel like you the end to their game. Somebody's favorite color could be red. This person feels like you a jewel. Okay. Like you just. Uh, uh, like abundance. <laughs> okay. What about man holding a coin? Yeah. Two of pentacles. Oh not two of pentacles. Somebody could have been juggling. 
all right or there could be experiencing some up and downs in their finances but the two of cups in reverse somebody is like going through a divorce or a breakup here okay yeah ace of pentacles they they could have ended something Somebody, 10, 11, okay, on the timer, somebody has ended a relationship or some type of partnership because they want a new beginning or long-term beginning with you, okay? They want to reconcile with you. <clears throat> they want to come back together again. Yeah, okay? Again, the King of Swords. This person is thinking very logically. I feel like they're being very critical about how they're going to make this a success, okay? How they're going to bring in some type of clarity, okay and balance things out they know they have to tell you the truth about why they left you out in the cold you know and why they abandoned you what's this look up in reverse with this man holding a coin yeah again they could have had to they ended some type of um marriage here with the hierophant they had some type of tradition something about their belief system caused some type of conflict here okay <clears throat> Give me one second, y'all. Ooh, this table is cold. Okay, so. Okay. But yeah, somebody's, there's somebody's, there could have been an ending with y'all too as well, Okay because and this could have been something long-term commitment but they're learning a spiritual lesson here when it comes to this ending i feel like between y'all two this this partnership because their belief system some type of tradition that they had here caused this conflict okay caused the imbalance here to why they like let you out in the cold some of you guys they ghosted you but the truth is being exposed some y'all already know the truth what about the hierophant here why is the heart in here? Yeah, seven of pentacles. Somebody, somebody had some type of tradition in a family, okay? Something about a tradition in the family. Somebody could have let their family get in the way. Their family could have made some type of observation and it caused them to think differently about you, okay? Somebody's not speaking to y'all. I'm also getting like after some type of breakup or separation here, somebody's going through a spiritual lesson here. They're going through a spiritual lesson about what they invest their time into. Okay, and they they're being very much so observant. What's the seven of pentacles? Even though it's upright, I keep hearing that it's in reverse. Yeah, nine of cups. Whatever they invested into. Whomever they committed to, it did not work out. It wasn't wish fulfillment. It was not what they wanted. So them ending things with you, this was part of a divine plan, I feel like. This is part of God's plan, okay? Because somebody needs to learn a spiritual lesson about what they invest their time to, how they look at people, how they look at things, okay? Being judgmental. And because whatever they did, it was not wish fulfillment here. It was not what they wanted, now they could be making a commitment to healing okay they're mastering it they're learning some lessons okay somebody could be trying to um they could be wanting you to be patient with them and they're coming up with a plan here somebody that they could have been committed to or trying to heal things with could have helped them come up with some type of plan to end things with you i don't know that's weird but yeah whatever they invested into this marriage there was a, a a relationship that they were in due to some type of tradition here that they invested in and they didn't want to do the shit it's like somebody knew that something was not wish fulfillment with this nine of cups they knew it wasn't it yeah this person wants to come towards you and talk to you about it Yeah, they was reckless. It's like this person knew who to give to, but they gave to somebody toxic because of a family connection. Somebody that they was tied to in a family. What about the Ace of Pentacles, please? 
the queen of swords okay the queen of wands you could have like <clears throat> you guys are looking for something solid and stable you're looking to have something serious you're not playing games with nobody it's like you're you're thinking logically queen of swords now we have the queen and king of swords here you're setting up boundaries you're being very territorial very guarded over your heart because you're tired of people playing with you 15 16 on the timer okay you're taking your power back you're looking good as fuck okay and you have a lot of people that are wanting to come towards you and have some type of success with you but you're, you're i feel like a lot of you guys are using your spiritual powers okay and going after what you feel like is good for you all right but you've been at a crossroads with people or somebody's been at a crossroads and now they're going to take a risk here they're scared and they're feeling burdened because they know that you are loyal somebody is scared of you I feel like all these people that's coming towards you, you just, you just weighing your options. I feel like whatever you guys are doing on a platform, you're becoming very successful. Okay. You a go getter. You could be confused on where to go from this point forward, but you're going to get some type of intuitive messages. Go put some earrings on. We finna get ready to go in a minute. Mm. I might stop and get you a donut. Go sit down. Go sit down. What about the Queen of Swords? Yeah. Ten of Cups. I feel like if this Queen of Swords is you, it's like you're focused on your happiness and this person wants to bring you a new opportunity to commit. Like something serious, something solid, something stable. Yeah, they're gonna they're spying on you. This is somebody from your past. Okay. They're watching you and they're wanting to take action towards you to reconcile. They could want to gift you with something. They're trying to have the strength, I feel like, to come to your house, your home. Yeah, they want to give you something solid and stable. It's like you they feel like you're the one. What about this Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups? Ooh. What about this Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups? This is going to be shocking. This is going to be unexpected. With the tower here. Unexpected communication. You may be, they could be trying to communicate to you and you could have this person blocked. Or you're just going to be standing guard, being very protective, trusting your intuition. Okay, this is something that y'all manifested. Y'all manifested being able to work with this person and this person come towards you. But it's like you're going to be confused on if something is over or you've been. What about the tower? Pisces energy. Why well, I say Pisces? Scorpio. Somebody could be a Pisces. Yeah. It's going to be an unexpected ten of pentacles with a uh, three of pentacles. Somebody wants to collaborate with you and have a legacy. They're going to be telling you like, hey, I want this long term. I want longevity for you. I want you. Yeah, but I feel like you guys are going to be guarded. You manifested this lover coming towards you. This king of cups with the queen of cups. Okay, trust your intuition. What about the cornucopia? This person has been sick without you trying to recover. Why is cornucopia here? Yeah, because this person is seeing that they actually do love you. Okay, this Taurus, this King of Pentacles, the man holding the coin, is like making a judgment call to choose the blessing. They want to collaborate with you and they want to talk to you about moving forward, about moving things along. This person wants to resurrect this connection. They want to bring this back. Okay, somebody could have got this clarity. Yeah, they want to heal this. Temperance. They're trying to be patient. They're trying to be healed. Um, this person may be trying to heal. It's like some, the ground could be, something could be getting fertilized here. I don't with the mushrooms. Mushrooms um, represent fertilization. It's like they feel like you could be somebody to help them grow, to help them heal. Your energy helped this person heal, but they feel like you're guarded or they're coming in slow because they have a lot of baggage, all right? They have a lot going on, but they don't want to miss this opportunity with you, okay, Queen of Pentacles? This is a match. Some of y'all, this is your person. 
Yeah, they feel like they missed the opportunity with you, but they, they're still holding on. They feel like you're holding on to the past and like they want you to turn your back on it. What about the goddess of the moon? Why is that here? Yeah, somebody is wanting to come out of hermit mode, out of isolation with Virgo energy. What about the hermit in reverse? Yeah, they they want to put something to an end. They want to let go of the past with the four of pentacles. Something got exposed here. And whatever got exposed, whatever came to light, something could be happening on a full moon or during a full moon. Um... Something got exposed here, and now somebody's coming out of isolation. They're putting an end to whatever hex or curse. It's like something, something from the past is like they're done. They're done with it. That cycle has closed, and now they want to communicate to you that they have walked away from something that doesn't serve them and that it's over with the death card, okay? Um, they got some different type of per perspective after investigating something or watching somebody from their past. And now they're having the strength, I feel like, to want to rebuild here with you. Yeah, it's like somebody is finally turning into the person that they need to be. They're trying to heal, though, in order to move forward. Okay, what about this four of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, they ended something with the past, so now they're finally able to come towards you. There was somebody here, this Queen of Wands energy that I showed y'all earlier. This person was bullying them, okay, using illusions, okay, M manipulations and deception, all right, to have a new beginning in love. Could have been trying to use children, play on somebody's emotions here. Mm. What about the Knight of Cups? I feel like now that they have ended something with a past or released something, now they can come towards you. Yep. The fool. Now they finally can come towards you and reconcile. It's like they want to reconcile with you. I feel like they just they're just taking a moment before moving forward. They're trusting their intuition when it comes to their feelings. Okay. They're trying to get on the path. They're trying to get on the right path. This is for some of y'all. This is a soulmate that you manifested. What about this woman holding the heart? Yeah, I feel like you guys are setting up boundaries. I don't know what that is. 22, 23. You guys are like guarding your feelings. I feel like y'all not expressing your feelings. You're not saying nothing. I feel like that's because you gave this person so much. And now you're not doing it anymore. Why is this a woman holding a heart with a seven of wands? I feel like you're guarding your heart. Yeah, you've gotten clarity here. You're trying to protect your happiness and spirit is saying that's fair because this person calls you to feel like you are rejected and that caused a lot of burdens to you. It caused you to be guarded here and move slow with people with new exciting adventures. Okay, when it comes to toxicities and things like that, people juggling you, people putting you in competition, leaving you out in the cold. It's like you're accepting the truth. You're accepting certain things and that's putting you in your empress energy. You're putting you first. You're choosing you first. You're learning to love you. Okay, what about the page of cups in reverse with this woman holding a, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, you're not expressing page of cups here. I feel like y'all not expressing to somebody. Hold on, y'all. Somebody may um message you. Um, people from your past may return to somebody from your past. My friend just showed me that somebody from her past has returned. <laughs> so I'm speaking facts here. But I feel like you guys, yep. She I just said who is that? And she just mentioned the name, okay? Um so yeah, somebody from your past could be talking and you're not interested, okay? Some of y'all not interested in expressing your feelings, okay? Um you some of y'all could be telling this person that you good, that you happy on your own, you like I could do bad by myself, and this is causing somebody to feel rejected. For some of y'all, because y'all not expressing your feelings and you're very cold, you're more guarded now, they're feeling rejected by you. They feel like they missed out on the opportunity. What about this four of cups here with the page of cups in reverse? 
that flipped in reverse. Yeah, this person is like wanting you to let your guards down with the nine of wands in reverse. I feel like, yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all, I feel like some of y'all are like, okay, we can try to work this out. And then some of y'all are like telling this person where they can get off at. Like you want something new. Um, and they're feeling like they, they've missed the opportunity that you have given up. This is not what somebody wants to hear. Some of y'all are moving on. Some of y'all have blocked this person so they can't communicate to you. <laughs> this king of wands that you walked away from, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They feel conflicted because they put you in competition with a third party. That's why y'all walking away. What about the thinking man? Mm-hmm. Yep. Some of y'all walked away from a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Okay. Y'all walked away from what doesn't y'all walked away from this person because they brought a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens. What about the eight of cups with the ten of wands? Somebody's doing a lot of thinking about you. Queen of Wands, Two of Swords. Somebody's walking away from someone who didn't serve them. This Queen of Wands was burdening them and causing a stalemate. Okay. What about this? Who is this Queen of Wands? Is this the collector or is this somebody else? The Queen of Pentacles. It's like this person is replaying in their head how you walked away from them and this has been burdening them. This has been weighing on them. Okay. I feel like they feel like you're punishing them by your looks. Okay. Your stamina. Like you're just looking good. You're very stable. You could be very successful. All right, and it's like it's putting them at a crossroads here as to if this can move forward. They really want a new beginning. It's like I'm baby, I'm begging, baby, I'm begging, begging, baby. That's the type of energy I'm getting. What about the two of swords here? Yeah, they're in their head. Like the reason why something's at a stalemate, why this person hasn't came yet, is because they're still in their hair, they're still confused, okay? But they're wishing and hoping for a new beginning for a reconciliation i feel like they're hoping too that you're still single yeah that, that you're still single this is stressing somebody out because they have now i feel like ended something with a third party and they're trying to feel like figure out how they can expand how they can put in work with you to work through this to collaborate but they're taking a moment here something is changing something is changing i feel like somebody is changing um but they're not making no moves yet. Okay, what about the door to healing and happiness? Yeah, somebody is healing so that they can have something equal to give you. Okay, it's like they're rushing. They're trying to rush it so that they can rebuild with you. They want to rebuild with you. I feel like they're trying to hurry up and, and heal, hurry up and do what they need to do so that they can come and rebuild this this foundation, this friendship with this empress. It's like they really stress and are haunted by the heartbreak that they caused you. Okay. They're, they're really stressed. They're really stressed. What about this four of wands? Like they really want to make it work. This queen of cups in reverse. Somebody, this Queen of Cups could have been trying to block a situation from meaning move to, from moving forward, okay, and using a child for this person to move to uh to lose an opportunity with you, and it didn't work. Whatever it is, this person gave up on this person who they have a child with. Something got exposed. Somebody is finally standing their ground up to this person because they try to act like that they love this masculine or this feminine here, and they really didn't. They use a child or children here to cause somebody to miss out on opportunity and give up on somebody. And now it's coming up, and now something is about to be justified. This Queen of Wands. This is the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. 
this person is has been unsure you walked away from this man because they thought that they were ma making a logical decision here you walked away from this man and ever since you walked away from this man or woman i'm sorry they've been burdened because of this queen of wands okay you this this could be a leo sagittarius aries and you could be a capricorn taurus virgo or vice versa okay this person had a decision to make but they were in their head they were in their head they were so confused and i feel like they sabotaged with you they sabotage with you, but now they're helping to reconcile. They found something out about this woman. They're healing, okay? They're trying to balance their yin and yang energy, I feel like, within themselves. Because they recklessly, you gave a lot to this person. You gave a lot of healing and happiness to this person. And they recklessly, they did not think. They just recklessly moved in or went toward something that they thought was going to be stable with this Queen of Cups. They could have had feelings for this person. And there was a tower, unexpectedly. <clears throat> What's this tower in the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, unexpectedly, something ended. So they, it's like as quick, soon as quick as they got in some type of committed relationship, they ended things with you. Got into a committed relationship with a Queen of Swords. This person could be very bitter. Okay, this person could have been trying to think very strategic, trying to be clever. And then unexpectedly, there was a tower moment that came to a family dynamic here. Okay, and now somebody is single. It was like as quick as they came in, they got some type of inheritance or legacy or family dynamic. It ended. It ended. I feel like y'all thought that something was going to be, you know, long, long term. And it, it's like as quick as it started, it ended. <laughs> Somebody's belief system caused them to invest in the wrong shit. <laughs> and that's just that. All right. Who is this Queen of Cups in reverse? The Six of Swords. I feel like, too, you guys have been working on your healing, giving to yourself. Okay. Um... And just choosing to, you know, go after you building your home, building something stable, right? I feel like you guys are, you could be suffering from a heart blockage, some of you guys. And you're trying to move on because people continuously keep playing with you. They keep trying to juggle you, okay, put you in, you know situations where they're wearing their options and they turn around and leave you out in the cold and it's like you're accepting the truth and you're ending that cycle i feel like you saw the truth you're accepting it and you're moving on what about this queen of cups in reverse somebody could be moving away from a queen of cups in reverse somebody who is not nurturing somebody who's not loving somebody who doesn't have the emotional emotional capacity to love okay who is this queen of cups in reverse with the six of swords this queen of wands <clears throat> somebody is moving away from this person they could have literally thought that they was going to heal or they're trying to heal from this situation because somebody recklessly moved in with somebody somebody just went on the whim and now they're trying to move away from this person because this person tried to bully them. What's this Knight of Swords? Yep. Somebody thought that they was doing a damn thing. They rushed, not thinking, and rushed right into the damn the devil. <laughs> Capricorn energy. They rushed right into a toxic relationship. They was not thinking. They wanted to, I feel like somebody wanted to heal something with somebody from their past here that they knew that they weren't supposed to. Okay. And they gave to this person recklessly for a, a stable situation, for a living situation for some of you guys, knowing that this person did not love them, knowing that this person was not nurturing. Okay. And that caused you to have to move on. Okay. Because they turned their back on you for this queen of wands. Yeah, and it's like 
you just decided to collaborate collaborate with other people <clears throat> because you knew this person was hiding secrets. Yeah, and it hurt you. It hurt you that they were hiding secrets and you just decided to put it in to your own delusions that you had about this person. Okay. Give me some cards that align with this reading spirit. Let me see. And then I'm about to roll out. Give me some cards that align with this reading spirit, guys. Tyler, go get your coat on. Give me some cards that align with this reading for my collective. Somebody's going through a lot of anxiety here. They could be working on their finances. They were given to a toxic relationship. They were given to somebody for, for a home. Okay, this could have been a playboy looking for a house. Looking for a place to stay. Whatever. <laughs> Give me some cards that line with this reading spirit. Yeah, you're going to have somebody that's going to possibly hit you up unexpectedly. And you're going to be unsure. I feel like you're going to be so confused <laughs> and at a crossroads. But the divine is, is helping something here. The divine is, is bringing some type of change here. Because somebody feels like you're irresistible. This player feels like you're their home and they're heartbroken. They heartbroken about this shit. Okay, what else? What else, spirit? What about this? Yeah, you're somebody is confused on if you're in a union with somebody. Something's gonna happen unexpectedly, and you're gonna be so confused. Yeah, they gonna they wanna come back into union because they feel like you're irresistible. They feel like you're attempting and irresistible allure and they regret what they did. They want to apologize. They regret going into this toxic relationship. It's like you're going to be trying to read in between the lines or they're going to be trying to read in between the lines. And it's like giving them anxiety because they want to know if you have somebody else that you're reconciling with or that you're dealing with. Okay, what does this have to do with my collective? Somebody is making a choice here. Somebody's no longer indecisive. They're making a decisive decision here to come together. They rejecting somebody. What is this indecisive? What is this uh, choice? This is the timing. I feel like time is up. Okay. What about the divine time universe? Somebody is making a decision because time is up. Something is about to some there's about to be some type of change with stalemate and perfect time and wrong time. I feel like time is up. Like somebody is coming in just in the nick of time or something like that. Because it's like they they know that they can't charm you. When they text you, they're gonna be wearing a mask. That they going through some type of upheaval, okay, with their finances. Or whatever it is, they're scared here. And they're gonna be, you know, being deceptive that they that they let let something go. You could be the one that's tempted to let something go. Because you're gonna feel like they playing with you again, like far as like how they trying to come off what about this mask what are they gonna be lying about yeah they were in a mask that they that they let it go they haven't let you go they haven't let you go <laughs> they feel like they have unfinished business with you they've been obsessing over you trying to trust their intuition when it comes to some type of encounter with you okay what else this is an ex-lover this person has made a decision about their ex-lover and ex-lover landed on death and nine of pentacles they have freed themselves from this ex-lover of theirs okay somebody's birthday could be september 13th they have made a decision about this ex-lover but they're scared here that you are investing in somebody else they feel like you got new love and they're watching your social media to see if you do okay what what was the decision here with this ex-lover. 
For some of y'all, they're making a decision to bring you an offer. They want to come in and bring you an offer. Some of y'all, they want to propose to you. They're on social media here. Watching you, okay? They want a new beginning with you. And they're going to text you. Okay, what about proposal? What does that mean for my collective? Yep, they want a relationship. That's the truth. But they just really scared that you're working with somebody new. That you hiding a secret crush. This player wants new love. But they're scared. Why are they so scared? Why are they so scared? Because they feel like things are unfinished with you. Because they feel like their things are unfinished with you. Yep, and they want to reconcile. That's all I have for y'all today. Until next time, if this like if this resonated with you, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to help my channel grow. If you would like a personal reading, they are on sale, okay, uh, for $47.99 versus the $55. It is a personal reading, one-on-one, -on -one, okay, um, was that Google meeting call. Um, we will go over different things, whatever spirit has for you, I will relate. Um, you can vent. It's like a therapy session, okay, so... It's fun. It's lighthearted. No judgment. Um, yeah. And if you need to get any sages, crystals of that nature, I have to restock on my crystals, but I have crystal necklaces and such. You can go ahead and visit my website to purchase. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.